Okay, today we're going to do a quiz um, using variables in Figma. So we'll have three questions that you can answer them, and then the product will be displayed dynamically based on your questions. So you can see, you know, I want medium, maybe easy drinking, and not at all hazy. And there we go, medium hoppiness, easy drinking, not at all hazy. Gives me my retrospectum. But if I go back, I say very hoppy, you know, complex, and not at all. Now we get a different beer, just as you'd expect. But the beauty with variables is I've only designed four screens. Very cool. So how did we do that? Well, um, let's go through it. So the, the key here is creating this component for the beer. So this could get very complex or very simple based on the questions and what you want to do. But for this one, I have three different beers and then I've given them the property, I've given this component the properties of hoppy, haziness, and profile, and they each have their variants to it. Uh, and then I just mapped each one of these out. I've probably missed some permutations just based on time, but so medium, not at all easy drinking, strong, not at all complex, light, very hazy, complex, medium, very hazy, easy drinking, medium, a little, you get the idea. But basically I've gone through and mapped a beer out to every one of these. Now you could have done this quiz with the conditional logic that Figma's put in, but that would be a nightmare um, because you'd be writing conditions for literally every uh, permutation instead of just creating uh, basically a matrix of values um, in your component. So this could be anything. It could be like red collared shirt, blue collared shirt, red non-collared shirt, blue non-collared, you get the idea, right? So map all that out. And then I went in and I created some variables called hoppy, hazy, and profile. And then I created one called beer description. So now what do we do? Well, the first thing we're gonna do is on every one of these buttons, I prototype it to set the variable hoppy to strong. Now the key here is you want to make sure that this variable matches the variant that is in, what, the, what this variant is called. Otherwise this isn't gonna work. So you can see here, each one of these is mapped out, set hoppy to medium, and then each one of these buttons navigates you because now you can have multiple interactions per click. Uh, it navigates you to the next page. So for this one, I'm setting the variable profile to easy drinking or complex. And for this page, I'm setting the variable hazy to a little, not at all. Again, make sure it's mapping back to what your variants are called. Right, very hazy, not at all hazy. So these have to match what you're setting your variable to. Then I put in my beer flavor component. And over here, you can see you can actually map. So if I get rid of these, this is, this is the variant. So I can switch it out, right? but you can actually click on this variant icon and assign it to a hoppy variant. I can assign it to a hazy variable. I'm not sure why it says it's not possible, but, or assign it to a profile. I must not have a, I must not have a variant for that but you get the idea. It, it must not be mapped out, but that's okay, it's still gonna work. 
So I've set it to hoppy, I've set it to hazy, I've set those to my variables. So once those variables are set, this will automatically change. And then the other thing we've done here is we've done, I've got this text, this description, and if you look, there's nothing in it because my beer description is left blank. So on the last page, uh, now I could have assigned it to any one of these last buttons, but then I'd have to assign this, setting this variable three times, uh, when all I can do, all I have to do here is just do a delay of one millisecond on this page. And then I set my beer description to the hoppiness variable, and then I just added some language around it. So hoppy plus happiness comma space plus the profile variable plus comma and space plus hazy and then hazy. And what that gives you would be, you know, I think this actually says the, the, the value for this is strong. So it would be strong hoppiness, easy drinking and not at all hazy. And based on that, you get a quiz that you can update. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and hopefully this helped.